your hand with Thor. What's going on you guys? Welcome to Draw 2. My name is Ravni and today we are going to be drawing Thor from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. As of the time that this video was published online, Thor has appeared in the MCU a total of, I believe, four times. Uh, twice in his movies, Thor and Thor The Dark World, and once in The Avengers and once in Avengers Age of Ultron. His costumes were pretty much similar. They had the same motif throughout, but there was a slight change in a lot of them. And between all of the costumes, I decided to go with the armless costume that he wore in Avengers Age of Ultron. Thor was a little bit of a gamble in the MCU because prior to Thor coming out, a lot of the movies in the MCU were pretty well grounded. And Thor was going to be the first one that introduced magic that introduced mysticism and gods and things like that. It's like out of this world stuff. And even though I didn't enjoy the Thor movies as much as I did the other MCU movies, Chris Hemsworth's portrayal of Thor is pretty much spot on. I think everybody can agree with that. But I think the shining light in all of the Thor movies has been Loki, and he is just as good, if not better, than Chris Hemsworth himself. But this tutorial is not about Loki, it's about Thor. And as usual, what you guys need for this tutorial is a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper, and black pens to ink afterwards. Remember that as you are following this tutorial, you can pause at any time so that you guys can catch up on your drawings. We all draw at different speeds to so find a pace that works for you and stick to it. And also, if your drawings look a little different than mine, that is completely fine as well. Having said all of that, you guys, this is going to be another long one, but let's get right to it. For our Thor drawing, we are going to draw it in landscape mode. He's going to be a little bit wider, and we're only going to draw him to about just about his thigh. So let's get started by drawing the head right up at the top. And I'm going to draw it rather small like this. We want to try to cram as much as we can in here. So we got to make it as small as possible. So I'm going to start off with that head and let me zoom in. Now with that head, we are going to draw him facing to the right. And I'm going to draw a line going down over here. That's for his jaw inside of the face. Here's a little bit of the, the chin. And then I'm going to bring it up to about there. So you've got this general head shape. I'm going to draw a little ear right here. And I'm going to draw the neck going down. I'm going to start off with that. I don't want it too long. So you want to shorten that neck. You don't want it to be that long. Okay, I'm going to bring this up a little bit more. And let's start putting some features in the face. Let me erase the bottom of that circle now. And I'm going to draw this right here. From here, I'm going to draw going up like that, and then just across. And that just indicates to me where his face is going to be apart from his head. Okay, from the ear, I'm going to draw a line going across like this. Let me bring the that line a little bit higher up like that. And now we have a general idea of where we want Thor's face to be. Let me draw a line going straight down. Not quite in the middle, but just where the chin is, you want it to go straight down. So it's a little bit wider here than it is over here. And that's how you want it. Okay, now let's get started with, well, let's start with the bridge of the nose. A line like this. And then it goes back into the center line. And then across like that. And then slightly up. There you go. Now I'm going to draw his nostril as an oval. And I'm just going to draw like this. And then the side of the nose right there. Now you guys, um, if you guys are not happy with the way that you have placed the nostril or, you know, this little curve right here, feel free to change it. Because, like I said, like I always say, it's okay to mess things up, especially when you're drawing the face. Because you want to get the face. It's, it's difficult to try to get it right the first time. Anyway, let's draw the side of the nostril on this side right there, just like that. So we got a general uh, shape of the nose. I'm going to draw the mouth, and I'm going to draw it right here, a little dip like that. And then I'm going to draw this line going across. It's going to be in a frown. And then this one, a little narrow one like that. And then I'm going to draw a line going across like this. And then the lower lip right there. Now I made the nose a little too big, so I'm going to widen the face a little bit. And if you guys feel like your face is a little too narrow, you can widen it too. But you don't have to if you feel like it's fine. All right, from there, I'm going to draw the brow. Okay, so we're here, going out like this. And then underneath that brow, I'm going to draw a line right there, line going across, and then close it off on this side. So that's one eye. And then the other eye, here's where it gets tricky because you need to 
go a little bit further out, right, say right around here, go up, across, down, and then right here, complete the eye like that. Now I'm finding that this eye is a little too low, so I'm going to bring it up. Let's draw the brow as well while we're at it. So here's the brow. Exact same placement, I'm just bringing the eye up a little. Like that. So that's a, a lot better than what we had it initially. Okay, I'm going to draw the pupils looking to the right. Like that, so it's just a semicircle with a, a circle, dark circle in the middle. And over here, I'll do the same thing. Try to make it so that it doesn't look cross-eyed. And that's about right. Now, it does not look like Chris Hemsworth, but that's okay. Because if we draw the costume, we are going to know that it's Thor. And that's what you want. It's, it's okay if it looks nothing like the actor, because that's not what we're going for here. We're going for the character of Thor, not Chris Hemsworth. All right. All right, so I, I drew this line right here, but I kind of erased it. Um, I'm going to find a little part starting right here. I'm going to make the hair go over like this. And then the head in like that. So it goes out like that. Over here, hair goes like that, and then it goes down. And then like this towards the ear. And then it goes out like that. Alright, so now I'm going to shape the hair. Following the contour of the head right there. You want to make it a little bit thicker because I mean So you want you want it about that thick is okay. And of course he's going to be in a ponytail, so right now it looks like he's got short hair, but we are actually going to draw the hair coming out from here to the back and to the side of the head. Like that. And then a little part right here. This goes to the top. And there's the side. There you go. And then we're just going to continue it later on. Let's draw the ear. I'm just going to draw this little inside curve and then a little bump right there. And then inside, I'm going to draw that curve and then a little hanging earlobe thingy. There you go. Now, let me erase this and let's draw the eyebrows. Eyebrows, I'm just going to make it bushy because he's a, he's a man's man. So he's got some bushy eyebrows. There you go. And then Thor's got stubble. And I'm just going to draw it lightly with my pencil for now. And when you ink it later on, you can emphasize it. But he's got stubble that's light, very light. Okay, so I'm going to draw a line going down over here. And from here, I'm going to go towards the tip of the mouth here. Like that. And then right here, you guys can see I've sort of made this mustache right there. Over here, I'll make my way up. And then at the bottom, we go from the tip of the mouth, and go down, curve like that, and then make my way up to the bottom of the chin, or bottom of the lip there. And then I do the same thing over here, that way. And then when I ink it later on, I'll make this a little bit jagged, zigzaggy, and this one as well. So there you go. Now let's uh, start drawing the rest of his body. Let's start shaping Thor's um, shoulders first. Okay, I'm gonna draw a line going down over here. This line goes down like we did earlier. And from here, I'm gonna draw a V from there to right around. Actually, it goes like that, this way. And then like that. Okay, now this V is going to be the basis of uh, the rest of this costume. So let me zoom out and I'm going to draw a line that leans towards the left more than it does to the right. But not too much. And I just draw a straight line going down like this. All right. Now we can start shaping his shoulders. We're going to go from the side of his face right around here, going out like this. And then over here, we're going to start here and we're going to go out this way. Uh, this shoulder should slope down lower than this one. So you want to try to do that. It slopes down. Meanwhile, this goes across like that. All right. Now I'm going to start finding where the chest would be. So if this is the... Okay, let me 
let's draw this another V shape right here. And that's sort of, that's where the um, clavicle or the collarbone is. And then from there, we can figure out where his chest is going to be. And his chest is going to be right here. It goes across like this. And then we're going to go from, from there, we're going to draw two lines going out like this. And that's sort of the chest right there. We want to make it um, shape, shape it kind of like this. And check and make sure that it's not disproportional to the size of the head. And I find that mine is, so I'm going to bring it up a little higher like that. And then that's good. Um, don't worry about the neck looking a little too narrow. His neck actually goes a little further this way and we'll worry about that later on. Okay. Now his shoulder, this is actually his um, shoulder pad and that's where the cape sort of goes over, but his actual shoulders go lower. So from, I'm going to go from here now, I'm going to draw a line going down like this. And this is where his actual shoulders are going to be from here going down, sloping down even more. Okay. And from here, let's uh, kind of shape the chest. There you go. All right. So naturally right here, you want, you want the shoulder muscle to come out like this right here and down like this. Okay. I'm finding that my shoulders are a little too broad, so I'm going to narrow it. And this is kind of always get a good idea of the proportion of your drawing as you draw so that you can make changes quickly and not have to worry about them. Um, you know, not have to worry about making changes when you've already drawn so much. So that's also a good reason why um, it's a good idea to draw lightly with your pencil. So there you go. So that's kind of how I have it. If you guys are, if you guys need to catch up, like I said, feel free to pause the video. But as you guys can see, I've narrowed down the shoulders so that they look more appropriate for the size of his head. And I've narrowed down the chest as well. Okay, I'm going to from here and here. Well, actually from here, I'm going to continue the body. So go down and then it goes in and right here, I'll do the same thing, but this one goes out to the arm and let's do that again. There you go. So like I said, you want to make sure that this torso right here is a nice shape. And let's just, I'm just going to let it go from here. I'm going to widen this like this. So this is going to be the waist right here. And then the rest of the armor does go down like that. So let's worry about that later on. Okay. Now let's draw the arm on this side. He's going to have a bicep right here. So from the armpit, I draw a line going down and then I draw another line right here. And then I connect those two like that. And here at the top, I just bring this over to the armpit. So that's the bicep. Here's the tricep on this side goes like this. And then the tricep on this side goes like this. There you go. And now on this side, I'm going to go from here and I'm going to start drawing the bicep. It goes in like this at first and then out. Now this goes lower than this one. Here's the tricep now goes out and then goes in like this. So you want to shape the arm like this. Okay. And then we just continue those. This one, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to bring it a little higher like this. Cause I want to, it was looking a little too big. This is supposed to be curled. This is stretched out a little bit more. Okay. So now that we've got that, I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to draw the forearm like this and get a little wider and then wider and then narrower. Okay. And then once you reach here, I'm going to draw a line going across curve and then down. And this is where I'm going to draw his hand. Let's worry about the hand a little bit later on. Let's go over here. I'm going to continue this with a line going straight. And then over here, I'm going to draw a little curve. That's where his um, armor is going to go for his forearm. And then I'm just going to draw this one going across and then this one going curving like this, like that. Okay. And this is going to be the armless Thor or not armless. The, he doesn't have any armor in his arms. Okay. Let's go over here and I'm just going to make this one go across the arm and then curving down like that. Okay. Now, now that we've got that, let's start working on 
the armor, the intricate design in his armor. First thing, we're going to draw a circle right here, just above, just above this armpit area right here. I'm going to draw a circle about this big. And then if you want to get into it, I'd draw another circle inside. Now, if you can't do a perfect circle, you have to practice. All right. Now the other circle is going to be, well, let's see, the armor is going to actually go this way. And I want this circle to be right around here. So about this distance away from this point. So this point right here, about this distance, and I want it to go right here. You want that circle to be similar in size to the other, although maybe a little bit more oval because he's got his body shifted away. So this is more of an oval. Okay, and draw another one inside. Now, we're going to draw the cape. The cape goes from here and it goes out this way. And then from here, it goes out this way. And then it goes over like that. And you want it to go to this little line that we did here initially. That's the cape. I'm going to draw some, some of the folds of that cape right now while we're at it. I'm just going to draw several lines going from the circle going up like this. And I'm not going to worry about the top because it's actually going to be covered by Thor's hair. And let's do that later on. Now let's move on to this side. Now go over here. We're going to bring this one up like this. And then this one goes across and over like that. Okay. Remember this thing goes a little bit further out like there. Actually, just let it go out like that. There you go. This should go loop like this and down towards the tricep. And then from here, I'm going to go draw another line from here going up. And it should take up this little line that we did here in the beginning. Just like that. Now I'm going to draw those folds. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Now Thor's hair, let's do it. From here, we're going to draw some waves. It's got some curly waves. It goes out to above his shoulder here. And it goes from the back of his head. goes out like that. And I want you to just Think of this area as being covered by Thor's hair. And before we continue that, you see this little line that we did right here. I want, I want to continue that going down because he actually has a collar. Okay. He's got a collar that starts right here in the middle. You see this little V shape right in the middle of that. He's got a collar that sticks out and then curves and goes in behind his neck there. Okay. And that's what this is right here is the collar because his head, his neck actually goes this way. There you go. Okay, a little neck um, muscle right there. And we're good. Now let's continue the design, the pattern that's on his chest. Okay, um, I'm trying to think of the easiest way to do this. And I think going from here, we're going to go down. You see this little um, angle that we have right here and you want this to go down from the circle instead. So you want it to go this way and you want it to go down to about let's do it like that for now. And then we're going to draw a V shape from here to here meeting right around here. Okay. So let's, um, let's do this top part first. He's got a V and the middle of that V, let me erase that pencil mark. Okay. Uh, he's got this thing, a little line that goes through like that. And then another one right here like this. And then we draw a line going down. We're going to draw this hexagon shape Two two lines there, two lines here. 
and then we'll make them meet like that. And then from here, I'm gonna draw a triangle twice, one there and another one right here. Okay, from here, you see this collar that we did here? We draw a line going down and then in like that. And same thing over here, we draw a line going down this way and then it goes into this little whatever that is. All right, now from here, I go out, down, and then in like that. From here, line going right in the middle, and then like this. There you go. Gonna double this line and double this line. Okay, now I'm gonna make two lines one that goes this way, and another one that goes this way. Okay, one that goes this way, and another one that goes this way. Okay, but this one, you want it to angle down like this. It gets narrower as you go down. And with this one, you want it to go this way to there, one there. Okay, right here, you want to do the same thing you did over here, right there, and another one right here. And then connect those lines to make that pattern. From here, I'm actually going to find a spot right here and right here. There and there. I'll bring this out like that. Draw a line going down and then I bring it in again like this. And then I continue going down. All right. Now from here, I'm going to draw a line going back to the circle like that. Same thing over here. From here, a line back to the circle, just like that. Now, you continue this going down, and then right around here, you split it like that, and then make it go up like a W, and then out again, and then up again. And then from here, you want to connect it to this line. There you go. A little fancy. I'm actually going to draw another line going right here to there and here to there. All right, let's uh, reshape. You see this little line that we did here initially? Let's reshape that and this. Sorry, it gets repetitive at times, but that's how drawing is. It's repetitive. Now we're going to go from here. We're going to go down now and then this way. Okay, until you get to the sort of past this point right here, down this way, and then I go across. Now let's do the same thing on the other side. I want this one to go down instead, like that, and then across this way. And then it goes, well, right around here. Now you notice that uh, it's a little bit narrower here than it is over here, but that's because of the way that he is standing. Now I want this one to go this way and then down like that, this way, and then down, then out, out. All right, from here, you go out and out and line like this and a line like this. Okay, so here, you see these little spots right here? This is where we're going to draw the second set of circles. So they sort of go inside and they're smaller than these top circles. Like that. And this one is more of an oval this. Okay, I'm going to draw another, some lines coming from outside of that circle going to the side, this way, and this one goes this way. Okay, let's flatten that because it is kind of a strap. Okay, very good. I draw a line going through over here, two lines. It goes slightly higher up, and then this one it goes out to the side, like that. And then from here, I bring it underneath like this. And then this one goes up and then straight across like that. Okay. Oh, forgot to mention, we have this little thing right here. You got this little straight line. I want to bring that down to here. Like that. 
So you want this one to go underneath that. Okay, let's do the same thing on the other side. So two lines going this way and this way. Go a little bit past, go back out like this. And now you've got this strap going to there. And then this one goes up and then goes up again. And then this little thing right here goes this way like that. There you go. And then here, just going to close that off, draw a line going across over here. And right here, I'm going to draw a line across right there. All right. So there's the armor on that side. He's actually got more designs right here. So I'm going to draw a line going down here and then line going diagonal and then this way and then down. Diagonal and then diagonal across and down. Okay. I'm going to draw a circle inside that circle. Same thing here. There you go. Well, Thor is getting a little complicated. <clears throat> now I'm going to draw a line going through here. One, two. One, two, right there. And let's continue and let's start finishing him off. All right, so from here, he goes up to that strap. And then here, same thing, goes up to this strap right here. You want this to go down like this. You want this one to go down as well, like that. Now, you can line, diagonal line across, and then this one goes across, but goes higher up. So you notice that the angle here is a lot uh, smaller, narrower than here. Okay. Middle of the strap, I go out. Middle of this strap, I go out. Okay. And I'm actually going to draw a, an even smaller circle. So what I'm going to do is make a teardrop shape from here, like this. And I'll do the same thing on this side. Like that. And within that teardrop shape, I'm going to draw a circle. So this circle should be smaller than this circle. This one's going to be an oval. Okay, I'm going to draw another one inside. Another one inside. There you go. Okay, right here I'm going to draw some lines. So one going this way and then one going out this way. Right now here, from here, line going out like that, and then down, in, and then down like this. Okay, now here, same thing, out, down, goes inwards, and then down again. Okay, about that, we're going to have a strap that goes this way, and then up. And here, a the strap that goes this way. And then you don't, you don't see the rest. It just goes that way. Okay. From here down from the center here, I go this way and then up like that. Okay. Here goes out like this and you don't see the rest. It kind of goes out like that. And this one actually goes out lower down. Okay. We're going to, all right, we're going to find a spot right here across, across, V-shape, like that. And then in the middle, we're going to draw in the middle of this shape. I'm going to draw two lines going down like this, and then smaller lines like that. And then two more lines, one, two, there you go. Okay. Now over here, I draw two more V-shapes and then lines going across. Okay. More V-shapes right here, like that, line going down, and right in the middle we're going to have a trapezoid, just like that, with one, two lines. Okay, same thing over here, so line like this, and then right here I have a trapezoid, like this, with two lines going down the middle. There you go. And then right here, diamond shape, line going down. All right, so let's uh, go from here. We're going to draw a curve that goes out like that. 
from here, curve going out like this, and like that. And then from here, I go out like that, and here, out like this. And I'm just gonna close that off. And these are, well, he's got more body armor right here, so let's close this off. Goes like this, and here, goes up. Got two straps going down, right there, and right there. And over here, then going this way and this way, and then goes up like that, and like that. All right. There you go. This right here is going to be, it's going to be like a loincloth that's in front of his uh, um, pants. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to draw the rest, I'm just going to draw like that. And I'm just going to draw a line going this way and up right there. And same thing on this side, this way and up. And from here, I'm going out like that. From here, out like that. Oh boy, that was a lot. We're not even finished the arms. Okay, here. Two lines going out. Same thing right here. Now let's go to this arm right here, which is going to have Mjolnir, the uh, the mystical uh, hammer that he's got. Now let's draw the um, forearm plate. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to draw a line going across like this, diagonal, and then up like that. Okay. And then from here, I draw a curve going down like this into the hand. And then now I'm going to draw two straps. Here's the first strap right there. And the second strap goes from here down to the bottom. There you go. And then here's got some pattern that goes like that. Now let's draw the hand. Let's uh, first draw a line going out like this. Down, across. Slight, slight going up, now going up, and right here I'm going to curve it like that. From here, here's going to be the thumb, so I'm just going to draw like this, across, this way, and then here's the thumb part, and then here's the rest of the thumb, and here's the rest of the thumb, right there, that goes into the palm. Okay, I'm going to draw a square for his fingernail, right there. Now, I'm going to shape this into four knuckles, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then this goes this way, and then across. Now this one goes down, and then across like that, and then it goes under the thumb. And then this does the same thing. Okay, and you want, you want some knuckles right there, where the fingers bend. And with this one you want, here's the finger, like that. Okay, and here's where the, the knuckle bends. Okay, and then let's just shape this hand right there. There you go. And then now let's draw the Mjolnir coming out this way, about that wide, and then down this way. And it's pretty long, it's got a long handle, and it's gonna go past the page, and that's fine. All right, so you got that. Let's draw a line going straight this way. Now, up like this. Now, I want to make a square. This goes up as well. And then this goes like this. So you want these two to be parallel to each other. You want to create another... Well, you want to make a square right around here. Okay. So we're essentially trying to create a rectangle right here. You want to get that right. You want to make sure that the hammer is just right. Okay, so here's the square. Extend it out, just like that. Now the thing is, it's not quite a square. So what you want to do is you want to make two lines in this corner and then close it like that. One line over here, and then diagonal. Okay, you want to cut off the corners. And this one corner is cut off. There you go. From those corners, you want it to go out like that, like this. And you want to make a smaller square. The thing is, once you get to this point right here, 
the bottom, you, you want the bottom of that square to line up right there. So you don't really see, uh, you don't really see this little spot right here because it gets covered the way that the hammer is angled. So you don't see that part, but you do get to see it right here. There you go. Corner right there. And it's got a little across, up, across, down, across. And then right here, I'm going to draw a circle or an oval right there. You kind of want to try to make it so that, and let me erase these because what you want to do is you want to try to make it so that this thing, imagine a little circle right here in the center. You want it to go down this way and this way towards the arm. Like that. And I mean, that's as best as we can get right now, I guess. Now here's going to be a series of V patterns. V, 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 V patterns for the handle. And it should be good for Mjolnir. Let's just finish off by drawing this arm and then we're going to draw the rest of his hair up here and then the rest of the cape and then we're good. Okay, from here, I'm going to find a spot right here. I'm going to angle it down this way. Okay, and then it goes down like this. Okay, now from here, I'm going to draw a line going down and then diagonal down again. And right about there is good. Line like this. And then round it off like that. Okay, from here, I'm going to make a strap right there. Another one right here. Line going across like this. And then right here is just a little padding that he's got. And then just his hand out, thumb from here and I go out this way. I want this padding to go like this and I'm just going to draw. I'm just going to draw like that. If you guys do have the room, uh, his fingers are going to be like this and right there, there and there. Nope. Let's shape that a little better. Okay. Knuckle, 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 knuckle right there. Okay. Right here, the thumb. Let's just shape it nicely. Should be okay. There you go. Let's zoom out. Let's draw the hair on this side. It comes out on this side slopes down, it goes over, and it also goes down this way, and it goes this way. I just want to leave some curls right there. And right here, you just want to continue making those curls. Okay. There you go. Let's finally do his cape. Let's uh, reshape. I'm just going to reshape this a little bit. It just goes out this way, out his hand. And over here goes down this way. And it goes that way. Okay. For the cape, I want to draw some lines. And down like that. From here it goes down. More. More lines. Right here, of course, you want to draw a line going down. More lines this way. There you go. And I think that's it, you guys. That's uh, quite the long tutorial. I didn't expect it to be that long, but here you go. And this is Thor from the MCU. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of this tutorial. I hope your Thor drawings turned out great. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community to post your artworks there for everybody to enjoy. If you guys are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have links to those in the descriptions below. If you guys feel like being extra awesome, I now have a donate button that is in the front on the main page of my channel. And I also have links to exclusive draw to swag such as t-shirts, 
mugs and mouse pads in the description below as well as my art store drive2.storeenvy.com where you can purchase a whole bunch of my art drawings again you guys links to those are down below if this is your first time here i would love to have you guys subscribe here in this channel i show you how to draw your favorite characters in easy to follow simple step-by-step -step instructions so if you guys like what you see please hit that subscribe button that is just below this video if you guys did enjoy this tutorial it would help me a great deal if you guys liked this video commented below or share this video with your friends in social media Speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of Thor and all the other coloring pages of the tutorials that are in this channel. Links to those in the description below. Again, thank you for watching this video, and as always, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw it too. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Chris, Chris Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth. Chris Hemi. I don't know why I can't say Chris Hemsworth this. So as you guys may notice, I am moving things around in my room. I've got my action figures now on display. I'd like for them to be in the background of my video. So here they are. If you guys want to know more about my action figures, let me know in the comments below.